want that um, interesting because the first lady she 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 told she mentioned doctor. She said doctor stand up, and then the guy he said the government shouldn't um, basically tell physicians how to treat their patients. And I found that um, you know interesting because when you go into the scriptures, the scriptures mention mention physicians. You know, it even mentions Esau Edom as a physician of no value in the book of Job chapter thirteen, and you see that more so. And ever before today, because of, you know, you got all these people dealing with this Maxine fucking with Vanessa. And you got them, although they done got boosted and then took both shots and getting boosters, they're still getting sick. You got even people succumbing to death. So, you know, that's proving that Esau Edom is a physician of no value. When you go into physicians, physicians actually usually heal through the herbs. You know, a doctor, when you go into the that's why it's important to actually understand the words, you know, um, understand the meaning of words, understand this language, because this is not your real language anyway. But when you go into the word doctor, it means falsify, you know, um, and that's why you got a lot of doctors, you know, um, so we was just speaking on it. They was talking about how, um, you know, I ain't going to go into too much detail, but you got people that literally uh, everybody's just basically being um, basically dubbed with, with, with the CV and. <laughs> Then you question and you like, well, hold up. Even if you died on riding on a motorcycle and you failed and killed yourself, you know, like you died uh, accident type shit. You know, they come, you still had CV, right? So what was the cause of death? If you died on the motor, but they still putting you down the cause of death CV because at the end of the day, and that's falsification. You know, you had um, people that work in the medical industry actually brought this information out. This ain't just speculation. You know what I mean? That's why these group of of medical professionals that's actually standing up against the mandates because you got half of the medical field or a majority of the medical um, association and institution of, along, they're, 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 they're actually pushing these mandates. That's why some of the main institutions that was pushing, you got to have the vaccine that actually worked there were hospitals. That's why you had a great deal of Doctors and hospitals lead. I mean, well, hospital employees lead the profession, and, and people are not looking at it on a larger scale. They're looking at it like, oh, people, you know, just leaving the job. So fucking well, yada yada yada. But when anarchy hits this place, when you run to go get help to, from these doctors, like a female that's in labor right now, that, that's why Scripture talks about woe to them that give suck in the last days. Right now, even to walk up out of the hospital with your baby, you gotta let them give them this fucking vaccine. Did you know that? So at the end of the day, you seeing the split, the kingdom divided right now because you, you that that protest, a lot of them basically, I guess, is medical professionals, and that's why she sat up there and made the statement, "Doctors, you need to stand up." And then even the guy, he said, you know, I guess because he was like, um, the government shouldn't be able to dictate how uh, physicians treat their patients, because like I said, you got herbal remedies that you can use. You had people that actually didn't take um, any kind of. Um, vaccine that actually because your body builds up everybody so why you know and it was another point that the elder malcolm brought out every year they talk about these number of deaths of when people get the flu but within the last two years since covid <laughs> i mean when you look at the numbers of like flu like covid just eradicated the flu flu ain't spoken of. but you know flu to get the flu people die around the earth getting the flu so, like I said, at the end, they to show you how to, they use this 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 television as a, a, a tool because it's not for your entertainment. It's it's called TV programming for a reason. They programming your head. The television sometimes you hear um, entertainment, yeah, but do you when you go into the root words of entertainment, it's distraction. What do you think, like football and basketball and all that shit? Ancient Rome, when ancient Rome was getting like basically taken over. <laughs> They had motherfuckers still fighting the Colosseums and all that shit. So you got people, the people, the massive people paying attention to these stupid sporting events and all this little dumb shit and what's going on in celebrity gossip while you got all this other shit going on in the world. You got the United States basically trying to um, put their put their foot in their nose and and what's going on in with Ukraine and and, 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 and and Russia, not understanding that this is all biblical prophecy. Because Russia is supposed to team up with the sons of the East with who you call China, and this is all prophecy to fuck America up. 
And we watching it, and if you had to understand the scriptures, you'll understand what time you're in. But most people don't. That's why it tells you in the scriptures, study the story. Study to show thyself approved. You know, most people waiting for a pastor to lead them. And a lot of these pastors are leading the people astray. Purposely and just because the Lord got them set up as stumbling blocks. Do you know the Lord got people? The Lord don't want everybody. That's why he, he leaves certain people off to their madness. The Lord is looking for a small number of people. That show you how, how so... so how, how true that is, you got all of us reading out of one Bible. We all read out the same book with different interpretations of it. When it's only one truth. That's deep. That's enough. They said they got cures that could treat this shit 100% that's not based on their, um, you know, their technology. Because you got to understand, you your, your spider sense will be tingling. This is the first time they created a medication, rushed it this quickly, and then basically the companies that actually developed it, if something happens to you, you can't go sue anybody. And that's fact. So why would you be a, you basically a test dummy for this shit. And they wording things in a way to think that, you know, uh, you, you know what I mean? And then when they're pushing it, like this is an experimental drug. <laughs> so if you develop a fucking third leg out your ass, like you going to just be, you going to be a three legged, you know what I mean? Like, this is another video. Then you got them people talking about this freedom win. To, to lock you. I ain't mean to do that. Then you got proud ass Esau keep on talking about freedom freedom wins and all this old goofy ass shit. Not understanding that, you know, the scriptures talk about a day when um a day when um, you know, Egyptians gonna fight a, a day when Egyptian gonna fight Egyptian. You know, so you know, you got these Edomites, you know, these uh, red, white, and blue Edomites that's going to fight from, because, you know, they see their country changing before their eyes. You know, when we was out and about last night, we was at this bar, you know, a bar that's been downtown is mainly Edomites. And while we in there, we're watching a fight. Now, this Jake fighting, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, it's a karate, and I'm not for sure who the other guy was. Like, I've never even heard of these guys. But it was two good fights, though, you know what I mean? Long story short, though, at the end of the day, you had Esau Edom start um, after the fight talking about, let's go, Brandon. Like, they hyped up. And if you have any understanding of what's going on right now, that is a, 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 a basically a disrespect to the president. That that they, they talking about basically fuck Joe Biden. So this is the times we're living in. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna read a, the probably the first couple paragraphs just to get you an understanding, and then I'm gonna, you know, bring out my couple scriptures. Thousands of this is out of RT, say World News. It says the crowds march from the Washington Monument to the Lincoln Memorial in, in opposition to CV19 orders. So this is dated January 23rd. So that happened today. Thousand and like I said, the yellow um, vest protests either happened. Today or yesterday, thousands of demonstrators took to the streets of Washington, D.C. on Sunday in protest of CV-19 vaccine mandates with protests, with protesters calling for an end to medical segregation. And this is the same thing that happened over in um, where those, I mean, in our land for real, but it's not our land. We're not occupying it. Those fucking devils are. So, you know, who to call themselves Israelis, not Israelites. They Israeli. That should have been the, you know, I remember the first time somebody pointed that out to me. I'm like, damn, they just doing it right in our face. Huh? <laughs> like, how disrespectful, right? You know, that's like a nigga. You just come over a nigga house. You come over your the demon house that got your kids, if she a demon. Let's just use a scenario like that. You come over the bitch house and the bitch got your kids, but a nigga, a, that nigga there sitting up there with one of your kids on your lap. Like, that'll make you want to, like, kill that bitch 
And this nigga, I mean, you know, like seriously, this is how the so-called black man, because you're not black, gets treated in America. Protests chanted, my body, my choice, my, no mandates, and we the people will not comply as they march from the Washington Monument to the Lincoln Memorial. I want to know why they're doing it in Washington because the bill they tried to pass in New York, basically they struck it down, they took it off the books, but they passed it in Washington. So literally, you know, I know they said last week they was beginning to enforce the fact that you had to show, to, to actually move around in public, you had to prove that you took the vaccination, you had to prove that you got an ID, and something else, it was three things in order to walk around. Now, I don't know how they doing as far as going to work. I don't know how they doing as far as um, going to grocery stores. But you got in other countries where they literally was like, well, they debating on if you can't show proof that you took this, you can't even go to the grocery store. And like I said, you got these people, obviously you got, because I forgot who just made mention of this. Like you got the police officer. No, what, it was that one guy that um, Detroit threat management that guy that they be making memes on making fun of him. But come to find out when you go check his history, the dude got like 26 years of history. He built funny to a degree, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Looks can kill. You know what I mean? Like, like, you know, and you've seen that actually happen in real life. Motherfucker, test a person and you didn't know that you've tested the wrong person. You know, you got a lot of women that look like women that play with guns for real. You know what I mean? I've seen it on YouTube. You and and they get all the views because that's weird to get guys weird like that. They're like, she look good, look at her fat ass, but she shoot good all. Or a girl that look good and she get down and get dirty and do fix her own car type shit. You know, like guys weird like that. We you know, so she getting all this attention, but you'll never expect this woman to have a pistol. You get to playing with this bitch and she know how to use it for. I ain't gonna call her a bitch. She, this this lady and she get and and, and know how to use it and, and 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 that's the Lord. You know, it tells you the scriptures, the book of Job, the deceived and the deceiver are both here. <laughs> so you know what I mean, like, and, and you're gonna see that with with with, with how the, the Most High is gonna do all this. Ooh, it's warm in here, but um, because you know Esau Edom serves a purpose. This whole plot and plan that he got, this NWO, is going to come to fruition to a degree, but it's not going to be fully implemented because it's ultimately the Most High God's plan. It's not Esau Edom's. It says, um, so they think, you know, they're going to take back their they kingdom like that, but their kingdom done. And you, if you got a spiritual eye, you would see it. Yeah, um, it tells you that the Most High God is long-suffering, meaning he's patient. So you got to learn patience. Because this thing ain't going to happen on our time. But if you watching the signs, like I brought out in the second Ezra, um, you know, you had um, wars, and, I mean, uproars and um, earthquakes and uproars. When you go into uproars, that's protest. So that's a prophecy being fulfilled. You know, and like I said, they not they can't just keep on allowing this. What's going to happen is that's why they keep on, if you've ever paid attention to, they keep on praising the fact of how China which you know actually goes back to the Moabites. If you go back, because you know these modern day terms for nations is is actually like they're changing landmarks, and and the scriptures tell you not to do that. You're not you're not supposed to change the ancient landmarks. Esau Edom did it. Like you got a lot of people call themselves Africans, but don't even understand that Africa go back to a a, a, a Edomite, a so called white man. His name was Leo Scipios Africanus. So when you call yourself an African American, you, that show you how you know even America is, is named after a, a Edomite. Americo Vespucci, I think I, I'm, I'm butchering his name, but when you go into it, it like it was named after a, 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 a Edomite man. So our people are so confused, you don't even know. Right, you calling yourself after two white people? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the fuck? This is how confused. Our people is, and that's why a lot of them ain't gonna come up out of the curses. I've seen people and gave them the truth, and they literally still disregard it. Do you know what kind of judgment they gonna get? So, like I said again, that's why um, not to be bouncing everywhere, but that's why China was praised on how they um, basically treated the, the the lockdown. They actually became like totalitarian on the citizens, locked the citizens in their homes, didn't let them come outside, none of that shit. America didn't do it that way, but eventually it's going to lead to that because they can't keep on affording having these protests. And it's already laws on the book where they say, well, this is this and that's that. So once you 
get to bucking up like these people are doing, what's going to happen? They're going to be considered criminals. You know, and the thing is this, brother said it so eloquently. You know, everybody got their lot. We got a lot to come out here and preach the truth. You know, and these people got a lot to go and protest and some of them going to be armed and, you know. So, um, if you, that's pretty much reading of the article. I'm going to uh, get this second, this book of uh, Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother, everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Verse 3, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. Because when you go into Egyptians, you know, um, those people that's in the land of Egypt are not the Egyptians. You know, those are Ottoman Turks. You know, you got to understand people migrate. So, and the people is who make the land what it is. That's why, like, we're not in the land of Israel, but we're Israelites, right? It's a people before it's a place. You got to understand Israel wasn't, you know, in the promised land when they named him, when the Lord named him Israel, right? <laughs> this shit ain't that hard. But at the same time, for some, you know, I, not to sound cocky, because that he gave me the understanding of this, because he could also take it away so easily. You know what I mean? I've met people that ain't slow, stupid, or nothing. But if, you know, it's scriptural that they say that eyes do not see, ears do not hear. I think that's Romans. It's in the Old Testament, but I know it's in the book of Romans, too. I think it's like chapter 15. The Lord blinded certain people to certain stuff because he doesn't want them to get it. That's why you can have a person that think because um, certain churches literally tell you, oh, yeah, it's okay. Come as you are. You could be a homosexual. And that's okay. But then the scriptures literally tell you it's a penalty for being a homosexual. So that's confusion. And the author, the Salaki, the author of this world, the, the Most High God, well, that's deeper. Um, the Most High God who, who created all things, our Lord and Savior, our, um, our power, Yahweh Yahushua, is not a, a power of confusion. You know, <clears throat> it, you might get confused, but that's because of you. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, it made more sense once I understood. Yeah, that makes sense because how can I create something and then it's create it's stronger than it? maybe at a particular time? You know, like a father has a son, and then be, when the, the son is growing up, the father is declining to the grave. So at, I'm sure at a certain age, you know, the father would be somewhat weaker than the son. You know what I mean? But not necessarily. When you go into King David and them, King David and, and his mighty men, like they were considered mighty men for a reason. They was fucking shit up. You know what I mean? Like you got to understand King David is the reason and he the one that formed the path to actually. King David killed a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? That's why he wasn't able to build a temple. That's how many people he killed. When you hear the stories and the songs, when um, Saul, one of the reasons why Saul got jealous, it was like, oh, Saul killed his thousands, but David killed his tens of thousands. So David actually put the nations in submission and actually created a kingdom for his son. When Solomon reigned, he, was, he reigned in peace. And that's what is a representation of the kingdom of heaven. Because people think that you're going to be up in heaven floating around like that ain't how this works. This is what the devil had you believe. That's why people really don't care about the consequences of a the life they live on, on, on the earth. They do all kind of vile, fucked up shit. Not understanding if you had a true understanding of how the Lord judges, you would, you know what I mean? If you had true fear of the Lord, you will actually move a different kind of way. And that's just anything. You know, those kids that are not literally... Um, What's the word? Um, reared or um, what's the word? Um, discipline. Then when they finally get disciplined, they don't know how the fuck to take it. But if you knew the fear, like you had them some kids that wouldn't do shit in school because they knew the parents going to fuck them up. When you understand that the most high God controls both sides, both. So when bad shit happens, you think it's the devil. That's why they got that joke when they say the devil was crying. And they like, uh, they, they was like, well, the Syrian guy, he just was crying. And they like, somebody asked him, eventually asked him, like, what's wrong? Here? And then come to find out, they realized that the devil, he said, they keep lying on me. You know what I mean? The devil ain't do everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> everything that happens to you actually comes from the most high God. Because he got to allow it. He sanctions it. That's why 
the Satan was able to do only so much to, to Job. And he had to get permission first from the Most High God. So when you understand that, it's like, damn, you know what I mean? You've been lied to all this time, huh? So lock it for all that. So, you know, I just might have to name this various topics because I, I did it again. It says, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. And that's the spirit. Because if you go into it right now, you got to, we was just um, watching a video where they, where you have vocab and this particular guy, I forgot what his name was, but he basically said he denounced his faith. He, he said he denounced his belief in Christianity. And that's deep. When you got more signs of the prophecies coming to pass right now than ever before. <laughs> So you really, why, what will make you think he would do that? Because Christianity ain't, you worshiping a false, false God. You know, you got, right now, you got more women have left the Christian church and they, they often to, to witchcraft and sorcery and hoodoo. There's videos like that floating around on YouTube. So the point is, the Egyptian is the modern day Egyptian is, is this red Hebrew Edomite. When you look at the structures of, of America, you know, these pyramids, these um, you know, the, the you know, like the Washington Monument with the um phallus symbol symbol, that obelisk, that's a phallus symbol. That's an ancient symbol that was used back in the day to worship, you know, it's penis worship. Because, you know, like I said, just like with the tree and Nimrod and all that, to worship anything but the Most High God. And this is how defiled this place is. And that's why this place is going to be literally destroyed completely. I got one last scripture, though, then I'm going to end the lesson. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter um, 15. And the point is verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men invading one another. So like it, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Verse 17, a man should desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And I brought that out because of fact, you got right now, like I said, where they're protesting at Washington, D.C., they literally passed um, a law where you can't leave your house unless you can prove it. So, you know, a person should desire to go somewhere, but can't. That's all prophecy being um, basically playing out before your eyes. So you're going to have individuals like those people protesting now. Pretty soon they're going to be protesting with um, with weapons. You know what I mean? Like, And you're going to have a big-ass civil war. Right now, if you was actually paying attention, they got that. Be, that's like common news going across the... The news media right now keep on asking, will there be another civil war in America? And the answer is yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Because it tells you in the book of Mark chapter 3, if a kingdom be divided, it cannot stand but have an end. So once you got these people, and you got all these, first of all, you got to remember, it's, America is a melting pot, just like ancient Rome was. So you got all these different nations of people. When shit get bad enough, you're going to have people go back to, well, they already deal with their own kind. Like, you're all Babylonians because y'all believe in the philosophies of this fucked up place. Y'all practice the traditions of this place. But when it comes down to it, 9 out of 10, most ethnic um, groups deal with their own people. Yeah, you got some that jig and, 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 you know what I mean, and kick it with all, you know, for whatever reason. But for the most part... Asians stick to Asians, or Moabites stick to Moabites. Most Jakes stick to Jakes. You know what I mean? You might got an exception to the rule here and there where, you know, they jigging with everybody and for whatever, like I said, they might be in the music, whatever. They might they might work be in the uh, uh, restaurant industry, whatever the case may be. But for the most part, people stick to their own kind. That's why, like, you got brothers in the truth. We deal with only brothers. Well, I ain't going to say only because brothers, you know, you might have a worldly person that can help you, and that's a benefit. You know what I mean? Because they might be in the world and ain't in the truth like that, but believe, and you ain't in the world, but by actually this person, they position, they can help you, benefit you. You know what I mean? So, I mean, and the Lord going to set that up too. You know what I mean? I can believe that. You got to understand, me and I've been in the truth, 
It's guys. We we got a guy that come down to the camp right now. He played football for our team, you know, for the Browns. He I forgot all the teams he named because I don't be really on that colonel shit. But I'm saying the Lord, and that's a, a powerful thing. You have had men walk away from 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 Babylon for real, and that's why men are gonna be rewarded as well. Well, you know, yeah, guys that was actors, brothers that was actors that gave all that up. You know what I mean? You had brothers that was niggas in the street and and gave up the streets and the money that they had, the possession they had to follow the Lord. So I laugh when to a degree when you got a nigga that don't have any understanding but want to tell you something wrong with you. Like that's what you know what I mean? Like something wrong with us. Like you think we just all came together and was like, we gonna do this. No, the Lord literally, the Lord is doing this. <laughs> so lucky though, because like I said, this is way longer than what I thought it was gonna be. It should have been quicker to the point, but you know, I got to, you know, just venting a little bit. Cause, you know, <clears throat> this place suck. <laughs> you know what I mean? But with that being said, um, and you can see what's all, you know, basically, um, taking place what ought what person what type of person shall should thou ought be <laughs> you know what I mean I'm butcher that I think that's in Romans so um if you're so called black Hispanic Native American Sumo Indian West Indian or Haitian I implore you to come back to the law statutes and commandments of your how about shot or you will be destroyed with that I want to give all praises all honor and all glory to call Haloyim La Yahweh La Shem Yahweh Shai by Hashem, double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwakim, the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is Edifan. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad and the land of other nations appearing like the other nations with whom subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Till the next time I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, shalom. Waqla Baba, shalom.